our definitions can be extended. Sometimes the functions f show erratic behavior for x going to plus or minus infinity. For instance, that terms fx become arbitrarily large. Well, in that case, we will say that the limit for x going to infinity fx equals infinity if fx is become arbitrarily large and exceed any number m in r. So we say that the limit is infinity if for all m in r there is some moment in time, or on the real axis, some moment nm, such that when we take x larger than nm, that this implies that fx is larger than m. So basically it says that fx for x large enough exceeds any number m. Something similar holds when we say that the limit of x to infinity fx is minus infinity. Well, this holds true if for any m in r there is an nm, so that we when we take x larger than nm, that we're sure that fx is smaller than m. Yeah, look at the subtle sign change, or the, the inequality now reverses, so fx. We'll illustrate this definition using the function fx equals the exponential function e to the power x. We'll show that the limit of x to infinity of e to the power x equals infinity. Well, to do this, we have to show that uh, e to the power x becomes arbitrarily large. So we also need to show that when we take m, capital M, larger than zero, that e to the power x exceeds this m for x large enough. Well, e to the power x larger than m is equivalent with stating that the log on the both sides, log of e to the power x, is larger than ln of m which is the same as saying that x should be larger than the log of m, which is capital NM. Yeah, so now we can take as a candidate NM equal to ln of m. So for x larger than NM, we'll automatically have that the e to the power x is larger than m. So this is what we needed to show.